We're doing a first. Infused watermelon sauce. What should I do for this YouTube channel? This push will make you levitate. Time I set the record straight. Smash that like button if you watching this shit. Fucking with a heavyweight. Serving late night letterman. I'm deadly with the penmanship. What's poppin' guys? My name is Duddis. This is Piff Rangers. I want to thank y'all for joining me on another episode. This week's content, we're doing a first. Is that so? For a lot of people who make edibles, you might be familiar with a term I have probably used on this channel before called sludge. Sludge is basically the leftover materials of like the plant, whether it be an oil, a butter. The leftover plant material is a sludge, especially if in my case, when I do the fruits, the flesh and the combined remainder of the plant material, that is sludge. Today, first time for my channel, my life, I'm gonna be consuming sludge. Do it did a watermelon video the other day. I figured might as well fucking try out this sludge. Infused watermelon sauce. Basically what I'm gonna be having today, but it's my first time trying a sludge of any kind. I could've ate in a sludge before, whether it be like the remainder of like a butter or an oil or a tincture. I wouldn't recommend doing that just because, ew, that's kind of gross. Disgusting. <laughs> It doesn't really have like nothing good to go with it. At least in this one, I'm gonna have the flesh of like the watermelon in there to balance with the plant material. If you were to eat the sludge or like, let's say something from like my coconut oil video, that's just fucking dirty. I think though, like that sludge should be saved and then be worked into another recipe. Like for example, that coconut oil shit, I put it to the side and I'm probably gonna just throw it in like a batch of cookies I make or some shit just to make, give them an extra kick. Like that's another great use for sludge, freezing it, storing it, and saving it for a later recipe. Today, I'm just gonna be eating it raw. Let's take a quick look at the sludge, switch up the angle, eat it, and that's it. So we'll see how it goes. Bring that sludge over here. Get over here. All right, so here's a closer look at the sludge. As you can see, doesn't look good at all. Kind of looks like shit or puke. How about that? But I can smell the fruit off of it. Definitely can smell that watermelon. So, um, I mean, not really much to say about it because it looks like shit. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't taste like shit. Let's dive right on into this sludge. Get over here! Here we go, guys. First time ever trying sludge. Shit I do for this YouTube channel. This is fucking stupid. And here we go. What do you think? Well, as predicted, it definitely does not taste good. Very rough going down. This will be a measuring stick. To, uh, is it worth eating sludge? Because right now, gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not having a good time. Fuck. Oh, that's fucking stupid. It feels weird. It tastes like I'm eating something that like has like a blended up sugar cane in it. Like I feel like I shouldn't be swallowing this shit. Don't swallow. That's what she said. Damn. When I'm done eating this, I'm definitely gonna sit on that couch and rethink my life. I want to go home and rethink my life. It's a fucking stupid choice. If I don't get stupid high, this is not gonna bode well in the scoring area. There you go, done. Well, we'll be back in a couple hours, see if I feel any effects at all, and if this was worth my trouble, and the trouble of you watching, because I was fucking rough to go down. Two hours later. So at this point, it's been like two and a half, three hours, give or take, since I've had the sludge. Let me get in my quick thoughts, the ups and the downs of this. First of all, did this have any effect? Yeah, it had some effect. Like, I won't even lie, in like the first hour, there was a point I was just sitting down on the couch watching iRobot and I was high as fuck. Sitting there plastered, but it doesn't last for long. It got me pretty good for about hour and a half, two hours. I was pretty fucking high. As you can see, I'm feeling a lot more lively at this point. Starting to get that second wind. Taste-wise, it was fucking horrible. Do what you say. <laughs> Obviously, it could have been worse. This is not for everybody. I would recommend this to people who have no problem just raw dog and mushrooms. <laughs> if you can eat those with a smile on your face or just, you know, accept it because you want to get a bit of a buzz or a high, go for this. Do this with your sludge. If you were to ever, like, follow my footsteps and make, like, infused juices or alcohols with the remainder, if you want to do something like this, go right the hell ahead. Especially if there's fruit involved, so, you know, you get a little bit of that fruit flesh in the uh, final product. It was very rough going down. I didn't enjoy it one bit. High was pretty nice, but only lasts like a couple hours. Will I do this again? Yeah, I probably will. You rebel scum. 
I'm a stoner and I, I literally don't see the sense in throwing out something that, you know, may not be the most best thing going down, but hell, I'm a guy who used to smoke poppers in like high school and shit. That's illegal. What you're doing is illegal. As far as eating some leftover plant material combined with the flesh of fruit, I think I can do that, especially for a decent high. Like that's like a perfect thing to have, like right for like when you watch a movie. Just get you nice and fried for your movie just to lay back and just melt in your couch or your bed for a couple hours. So yeah, not bad, but not for everybody. With all that being factored in, I got I give this a two out of five. What have I done? The high was okay, but the delivery was not pleasant. There's ways around this. I'm like, I think for the next time, what I'll do, I'll maybe combine it with an actual fruit snack, something like that. It'll go down perfectly fine. Something to kind of balance it out, spread it out, not make it be so damn intense. If you raw dog it like me, be prepared, cause that shit was some shit. I don't think so. All that being said and done, my name is Duddis. This is Piff Rangers. I want to thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Hit that link below and be sure to give me a follow on my other social medias. Help further support the channel and all that good shit. Hopefully I'll be seeing y'all next week. Y'all be good and be good to each other. Indest ingesting some sludge. Freezing it, storing it, and saving it for a later episode. Hard till, till the death of him, I rep it like a veteran. Or uh, let's switch up the angle. We're gonna take a look at this. I'm, I'm not going to be taking much of it. Brand, fuck you, why ain't settling? I'm going for it all. Right. So fuck a hand. Hope I'll be. Um,